Ross and Rachel are happy for a while, but then a stranger called Mark comes up to Rachel and helps Rachel get a job that she wants. Instead of being happy for her, Ross is suspicious of Mark, and Joey backs him up. Hey, Joey, uh, are men ever nice to strange women for no reason? No, only for sex. And Chandler helps him prove his point as well. Don't tell me men are nice. This is men! Ross's jealousy grows, and he ends up sending Rachel a bunch of gifts and even a barbershop quartet. After taking some good advice from Joey and Chandler, he even shows up at her workplace and causes a scene. They patch things up again, but Ross is still very suspicious of Mark, and after a heated argument over Rachel spending too much time at work, he says, Is this about Mark? This time, Rachel has had enough of all the jealousy, and tells Ross that they're on a break. Mark comes over when he hears that things are bad, and he and Rachel talk. Rachel doesn't want to break up after all, and tries to get a hold of Ross so they can forget the whole thing and continue their relationship. Ross isn't home. He's out with Joey and Chandler, but he calls Rachel to get her to take him back. However, when he hears Mark's voice in the background, he thinks that she has moved on to Mark, so Ross gets upset and hangs up. Rachel leaves Ross a message, letting him know that she wants to be with him, but Ross doesn't hear the message until the morning after, and during that time, a beautiful girl that both Chandler and Joey have been desperate for is all over Ross and kisses him. Being upset and thinking Rachel is with Mark, Ross ends up sleeping with the girl. When Ross hears the message from Rachel, he's very happy. But he's in an awkward spot since the girl he slept with is still there when Rachel arrives. Ross again goes to Joey and Chandler for advice, which always seems to work out well for him. Nobody's gonna benefit and you're just gonna hurt her. Yeah, and there won't be a relationship left to rebuild. They convince him not to tell Rachel and instead go around making sure that she never finds out. That plan fails. She and Ross argue for hours as he desperately tries to keep the relationship going. But in the end, him having slept with someone else is too much for Rachel and she ends their relationship. Time passes and they become friends again. Now that they're on good terms, Phoebe asks Rachel if it's okay to set Ross up with a friend of hers. Rachel agrees after being led to believe that the girl is bald. But after finding out that she's beautiful and that Ross likes her, she wants to break them up. We just can't let it happen, okay? We have to do something, but we have to break them up, okay? You just go in there and like shave her head. You owe me one bald girl. Phoebe talks her down and says that she should let Ross be happy. But Rachel has started having strong feelings for Ross again now. So, while they are together in the beach house, she flirts with Ross. And when Ross's girlfriend arrives, Rachel convinces her to shave her head again. Ross and Rachel fight, and Rachel says that she is still in love with him. Ross is conflicted, because he is finally in a good place, but he still has feelings for Rachel. And it doesn't work out, right? Do I really want to put myself through that again? He enters her room, and they kiss. But Ross stops it from going further because he's still in a relationship with Bonnie. So he breaks it up with Bonnie and returns to Rachel. When he returns, Rachel is a bit more distant and wants him to read her thoughts and demands before anything can happen. And there is a lot to read. 18 pages. <laughs> Front and back. Ross falls asleep before he's able to read it all. And when Rachel comes downstairs, he lies to her about having read it. He agrees to her terms and they are now a couple again. But after reading the demands, he realizes that he doesn't actually agree with her. Because she thinks that he cheated on her and that he is solely to blame for their breakup. While he believes that they were on a break, so he didn't actually cheat. Chandler and Joey convince him to just keep quiet about everything. Because ultimately, he's back with the woman he loves. Barra snaps. We were on a break! And they break up again. Time passes and again they regain their friendship. Rachel gets a new client, called Joshua, whom she instantly falls for. She becomes desperate enough to ask Ross to help her, by taking out a girl called Emily, so that she can go to a club where Josh is at. Joshua! Where Joshua is at. Ross, please come on. I thought we had moved on. I thought we'd gotten to a place where we could be happy for each other. I mean, was that just me? Ross and Emily really hit it off, 
and Rachel becomes jealous again. She dates Joshua, but when she finds out that Ross is getting married, she goes a bit crazy and ends up ruining her relationship with Joshua. And she doesn't really seem to be that upset about losing him either. Yeah, well, that ought to do it. Rachel wants to tell Ross that she still loves him, but Phoebe tells her not to, because Ross is getting married and it's too late. But Rachel doesn't accept it and flies to London. On the plane ride, Dr. House tells her that it's a terrible idea, and even agrees with Ross that they were on a break. It's been perfectly clear that you were on a break. <gasps> when she meets up with Ross, she decides not to tell him. But Ross manages to ruin his own wedding all by himself anyway. Take thee, Rachel. Rachel now really wants to tell Ross how she feels, but Monica talks her down. Ross is desperate to find Emily and get their marriage back on track. But Emily has run away and avoids him. He waits for her at the airport in the hopes that she will show up so they can go on their honeymoon together. But when she doesn't, he invites Rachel to join him, since he doesn't want to go alone. But as always with Ross, timing is just not his friend. Oh, no, no, no. When Rachel gets back, Ross is still desperately trying to get in touch with Emily. And Rachel still has the same strong feelings for Ross. Despite Monica again trying to stop her, Rachel shares her feeling with Ross. Ross is married now and he's in love with Emily, so he lets Rachel down gently. Emily finally agrees to give their marriage a chance, but Ross has to stop seeing Rachel. Ross goes back and forth for a while, but ultimately ends up denying her request, and so he becomes divorced and single again. So now Rachel can make a move on Ross. But she tells Monica that she can't get started with Ross again, and that he's gonna be screwed up for a long time. And so instead of becoming a thing, they just go around doing friend stuff. Rachel even helps Ross get a girl's phone number at one point, so they are pretty far from being an item, and nothing is bound to happen in the near future between them. So I'm gonna stop the video here, so we also get a happy ending in part 2. Click here for the third and final part.